we have two different suggestions for machining the expanding collet. One is by backing out the expanding screw. The other is by cutting off the end of the expanding screw. In this demonstration, you will be using the backing out method. Once you have inserted the collet all the way into the spindle, you will want to take measure of the OD of the expanding collet in its relaxed state. In this demo, you can see the collet is measuring 1 inch and 5 thousandths. With an Allen wrench, you want to back out the expanding screw so that you are left with one or two threads left of engagement in the threaded rod. Activate the draw bar so that it pulls the expanding screw back. Being that we backed out the screw, you will not have to worry about the expanding screw engaging into the taper. If the screw engages into the taper, abandon this process and use the method of cutting the screw. Once the drawbar has completed its full stroke, manually screw the expanding screw back into the threaded rod until it engages into the taper of the collet. Turn the screw in until you have expanded the collet five to six thousandths. You are ready now to machine the collet to the diameter of your parts. For this demo, we are turning the collet at 1500 RPM with a feed rate of six to seven thousandths and depth of cut is ten thousandths. You could take a deeper cut on your rough passes, but we suggest that your finish pass should be around five to ten thousandths. You need to make sure that on your finish pass, you also take a final cut on the face where your part is going to locate against. This will ensure perpendicularity between the locating surface and OD of the collet. After your finish pass, actuate the draw tube to the forward position. Slide your part on and actuate the draw tube so that it pulls the screw back to expand the collet. Make sure that the part is secured on the expanding collet. Then release the screw by bringing the draw tube in the forward position. At this point, you will take your Allen wrench and screw the expanding screw all the way in until it bottoms into the rod. Make sure that this is tight. The next time that you actuate the collet, make sure that you have a part on it or you will destroy the collet. 